happening what is happening in the world today let me read some of the comments what do you guys think of kick down the blood clot door <laughs> what do you guys think of kick down the door oh my hair's a mess blood someone may be getting a haircut today if someone can make their way to the hairdressers without without changing plans and if someone gets a haircut today, then it's over for some people. Um, what is going on though, guys? When is show you off coming out? Hey, listen. The releases are there, innit? The releases are stacked and they're ready. So, I just want to let this one, I just want to let kick down the door, just chill there for a bit. But this is my first release where... You guys already know where I released everything. I did everything myself, basically. Me and my brother. We practically done everything ourselves. And it's so amazing to see people liking it. And, like, actually... People actually like the song. So, it's just another level. Thank you so much. I've been watching all the reaction videos. Guys, I want to see more reaction videos. If you have a YouTube channel, you know someone with a YouTube channel, then shout them. So, I wanted to come on here to talk to you just quickly and tell you that obviously we was trending the whole day yesterday like which was amazing yeah i'm trying to get the tiktok sound on tiktok so you see obviously i'm just learning recently about all this tiktok stuff i don't really know too much about tiktok like that however i am um it's very annoying that half my face is just ghosted and half of it is just not what's wrong with this stupid what is that Anyway, um, forget that. Listen, um, so yeah, half of the song, I want to get the sound on TikTok. You know when you make a TikTok, yeah, it goes, you have to choose a sound. So I'm trying to make that. And as soon as that goes on TikTok, then I'm going to upload my first TikTok. I've been asking followers and fans to make TikToks, and I'm going to upload them to my own page. Yeah. So as soon as that goes up, I'm going to start a hashtag in that because I got some jokes ideas for tiktoks for this song but um the main thing is that you guys like the song and like because this song is for you this song was not for like other people this song was for you this song was for people that already that already follow me and i want to ask you guys a favor because i genuinely believe we might have a chance of like getting in the charts at some point if any of you have the availability to spend one pound on apple or spotify I don't think you have to spend it on Spotify. Spotify is different. If you have the ability... I've never even asked people to do this before, but if you have the ability to buy the tune, to buy the song on Apple Music or iTunes, then please, after this live, go and do so and tell your friends or anyone that can support and buy the song, that likes the song, obviously, only if you like the song. If you don't have to buy it, if you don't like it. But if you like the song, then it's a pound and we genuinely might be in with a chance because I didn't think we was ever in, a, in with a chance of trending, honestly. I never, ever thought we would be trending. In the UK, like, 
obviously I've trended before in, in Indonesia, Malaysia and stuff. I've never trended in, in my home country before. And this was like by ourselves. I don't even know what happened, but but it happened, didn't it? So if you can, then then buy the song on Apple or iTunes. If you can't, then I understand, don't worry. Some of us don't have the the ability to spend a pound when we want even. Like I remember when I was young, yeah, when I was like 14, 15, and a pound to me, yeah, was was a mad thing, bruv. Like people used to come say, buck me a pound and it used to be tight. It was tight, bruv. I was thinking, yo, if I give you this pound, I'm not I just have to do the battery. It used to be like, if I give you this pound, then I'm not gonna be able to eat after school, bruv. And like, yeah, we needed we needed we needed feeding, fam. Them times there, everyone needed feeding. So I understand if you can't spend a pound in it. But anyway, um, how are you all doing? And yeah, chat to me. If you want me to play a little bit more on the piano, I can do that. But I came on here to talk to you guys mainly and see how you're doing. When you come into Indonesia again, I, I miss Indonesia more than I can say. It's been nearly three years since I've been there. But just know I've been saying when I come back here, I'm coming back with all new material and doing the maddest show that you've ever seen. So to everybody who's on this, who's from Indonesia and Malaysia, because both of them I used to go to a lot, just know that when I come back... Hey, guys, if you're in Indonesia and Malaysia, I need to do me a favour right now. Can you send it? Because I had a team in Indonesia who used to help me and stuff, and Malaysia, and like I said, right now I'm doing everything by myself. So if you can... So request it at your at the radio stations. I'm I don't, I'm trying to remember their names, the radio stations in those countries. But if you can, then request the song, because I feel like they'll like this song over there. So go to the radio stations. I don't know, tweet them or something, or or message them and just and just say, we want you to play this song. I remember there was Era FM in Malaysia. I think there was Hot ninety seven FM in Malaysia. Like there was. I'm trying to remember the Indonesian ones. Remind me, guys, of the other radios in Indonesia. But if you can do that. Then um, I would appreciate it, obviously, because I don't have no teams in them countries no more. Like, I don't know why they're not. Nobody's nobody trying to nobody's trying to bring man in, but it's cool, as long as the music's getting listened to. Prambles Radio, Gen FM, Gen FM, yeah, send it to Gen FM, and tell them Harris says his regards because I used to I used to like those guys out there. What are you doing? Why are you doing everything by yourself? Like what happened to your management? Okay, so I have management. So let me just clear this up, yeah. I do have management still. My management are helping me. Um, the problem is, is that I keep having disagreements with with the people right at the top because I just want to release music like constantly and people are very choosy and picky. Like when you're signed to a label, it has to go through so many different people to be able to release. So I just said to them, listen, I'll just release something myself. Like, if you guys are not happy with it, I'll just release it on my own channel. I've got my own fans. I've got my own followers, my own friends. Like, like, I don't, I like, you know what I'm saying? I can just do it. And, and then you guys don't have to be, you guys don't have to, like, push that song if you don't want to. Obviously, I'm signed to them. I'm still signed to a label. Like, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, like, I don't want to get too deeply into it, obviously. There's a lot, there's a lot, there's a lot that I can say, yeah. But anyway, the point is, is that, I really wanted to release this song because I really thought you guys would like it and, and other people didn't want me to, but I just released it anyway. So, but my next single is like a, it's a, it's a commercial, commercial song in it. So that one will be through my label. But this one, I'm really happy with like how it's doing and I'm really happy with the fact that you guys like it. Because I wasn't sure to be honest. Me and my brother literally made this for fun. Like, obviously it's a nice song, but we made this for fun. Like, I'm talking, we was just chilling and there was no plan or nothing. On the day, we, we came up with it and just recorded it. And since that day, we never re-recorded it. So it was just there the whole time sitting there for like eight, nine months. And I was like, bro, I love this song. Every time I listened to it, kicked down the door, I was like, I love this song. So I just felt like you guys would like it as well. But yeah, guys, even in London, please request it at the radio stations, like, me myself, I've imagined, I've I've been messaging, I've been doing everything myself. I'm missing, but I really find it boring at home. How you hating me, not texting me back. 
Someone said you look like a lamb. I don't know if that's a compliment or a flipping. Man said a lamb. You know, I think I think they're talking about my hair. You know what it is, guys, yeah? I ain't had a I ain't had a haircut in like five, six months, innit? To be fair, I feel like this is pretty decent for five, six months of like absolutely no maintenance, yeah. It, it don't look that bad, like, but it could look a lot better. I, I, I'm with you, like, it could look a lot better. But yeah. That's mean. Yeah, bruv. People being being mean though, innit? I figured out why you were reading the catcher and I let me not talk too much. But there's so much stuff guys that if you if you watch the video properly you'll 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 see and you'll clock onto. And if you ain't watched the video and you're on here then get off and go watch the video and stream it. I don't know if you was if people, for people that weren't on this live earlier, I was saying please, if you can spare a pound right now and go and buy the song on Apple Music and iTunes, we may actually have a chance of getting somewhere in the charts right now. Independent like released like I independently released this blood like like it's it's mad if we if that happens so if you have any sort of like like if you support me in any sort of way then that would be amazing but only if you can only if you can afford it obviously not that I'm not saying like afford it like that but you know like I said when I was younger a pound a pound meant a lot to me so I understand and anyone who wants to advice for anyone who wants to write and sing songs um First of all, you gotta have something to say. Like I always find that if I sit down and I try and make a song from scratch, yeah, it doesn't really work unless unless I have something to actually say first, yeah. So I find it much easier when I when I when I know what I want to speak about, and I write some sort of lyric down. I always write one lyric down before I start writing a song. Just one lyric, whether it's the title or just one one lyric. So the other day, I wrote a song called "Party in Heaven," yeah. I did this with my with my brother actually as well. I was in the studio and I just thought of this one lyric called "Party in Heaven," yeah, and and because basically what 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 made it come into my mind was I've lost I've lost a lot of people that are close to me, so I wanted to kind of write something about reuniting with people in heaven and and getting to like get into party and just and show of them again. So basically, off of that one lyric, I told that to a to a producer I was with and he got the vibe and he started making a beat to it and then I just started writing. So maybe my, my, my main advice for writing a song would be write one, think of one lyric, like one important lyric in your head and then, um, and then go from there and, and it, should, it should be a lot easier. You remember Mr. Mahir Zain? Of course, blood. That's my guy. That's my brother. Aside from everything. Any advice for a teenager going through a lot? Um, um, I'll be honest with you, yeah, I didn't handle my teenage years all too well, so, but looking back at it, my advice to myself even would have just been, like, breathe, like, I was living at way too much of a fast pace to be able to really analyse what was actually going on, like, deep, what was actually going on deep within me, yeah, so I never really took the time, so just breathe, like, Recognize that you're in the best part of your life, probably. Try not to take everything too seriously and, and just breathe. I made a song the other day called Just Breathe, actually. Just breathe. Come and take it easy. Promise, baby, we okay. Yo, human got me through a lot, bro. I appreciate that, man. That means a lot that, that, that it helped you. That's why. That's exactly why I wrote that song. Go stream kick down the door. When are you gonna drop that song called We In Love? Um, I don't know, you know. That one was just more of like, I just wanted you to hear that. It will come out eventually, but that's not one of my up and coming releases. Show you off on the other hand. I wanna say, I say this a lot, like, so it might sound cliche and it might sound overused, yeah, but I, I'm, I genuinely, genuinely appreciate every single person who's who's showing support right now, who's DMing me. I'm practically reading through every single DM right now, and I, that means the whole world to me, every single message of positivity that I'm receiving. I'm sure you guys are aware that I get mad hate, 
Like, I'm sure you're also aware that the hate don't do nothing to me because I'm someone that, that's been through way too much in life to let little comments, like, annoy me. Like, when you've been through actual shit, you think these little tiny comments can get to you. Impossible. But your your comments, like, actually, actually like, drive me. So when you send me a DM, whether or not it says that I've seen it or not, like, sometimes it takes too long to open every single message and reply. So I look through them and I see the, the message. Like, I've seen... I've more or less seen your message, so I, I, like, I genuinely appreciate it, and it means a whole lot to me. Thank you for the support, and even the comments underneath the video right now. I've been reading through them, and um, yeah, I'm, I'm mad, mad grateful, mad grateful. Don't ever think for one second I'm not grateful, bro. I'm grateful as hell. I'm grateful for my life. I'm grateful to God every night. Every night, I thank God. People say a lot of mad stuff to me, you know. After my last release, people called me the... But people called me the Dajjal, like... And it wasn't even just a couple of people, like... like but you know what I'm saying? I pray to God every single day. I need to. Like, it's not for, it's not for, it's not for his benefit. It's not for no one else's benefit. It's for my benefit. I need to do that. This shady guy, bro. You know this shady guy. He's calling me when I'm. He can see I'm on live. He's, he's definitely seen I'm on live, and he's calling me. Shout out to every, everyone around the world, though, who's watching this right now. I'm sure you're all in in different countries and stuff. Don't let people get in your head. Impossible. Impossible, man. <clears throat> I've got a this you know this pinned comment is gassing me so much because I just remembered the song that he's talking about demons yeah that song I'm saying it now I said it that song is Grammy worthy that song is Grammy nomination worthy anyone who's heard the song has agreed Australia here yeah. yes Australia. Australia. Miss Australia, though. Also, to the people that have been supporting me through all of this, there's been a lot of, I know there's been a lot of time, unsure time, where you haven't known what I'm doing, you don't want to know when I'm going to release. Like, you've stuck through the worst of it now. Like, now, now we're in the rewarding part of of, of, of like my career where I'm just going to be able to release everything I've wanted to so congratulations and, and thank you so much for being able to stick through all of this crap that I've gone through in the last in the last couple of years because now it's going to be worth it I promise you it's going to be worth it now I actually get to talk people try to stop me from talking all the time and I've been stopped from talking but I've got way too much to say to be stopped they might try to take me out. They might try to take me out, but 